tank forever there. Wait, no sting up, please. No, the recorder. Stop being a damn. Oh, hey! You know what? I ate a knuckle the other day. It was so good. I really want you to have one too, Lord Maxwell. If only someone can go get me one for me. I never got one. Hmm, you want us to find an apple and bring it to you, so you can give it right back to me? That doesn't seem very efficient. But my mom won't let me go outside the village. And there aren't any apples here either. Come well, on, man. Let's just find an apple for him. I think we got one. Yeah, I think we got one too. Yay, you bought me an apple! Thanks, Lord Maxwell! These are so good! You won't even believe it! It does look quite appetizing. They're really good! Really, truly, incredible good! So, so good! Maya? Huh? Yes, you're right. Here, I want you to have this. But, I got it from you! And I'm sure it tastes wonderful, but it's okay. Thanks, Lord Maxwell! Here, you can have this instead. Droopy nose. Oh my god, really? Wait. Where's the elder? Chicken! Get the old man right there. Oh, look like a girl. Assembly Leo. hall. There we go. Lord Maxwell, and your companions, forgive me for making you wait. Worry not. I hear you've prepared payment for Alvin. Yes, yes. The villagers all pitched in and collected a small fund ages ago. It's the least we can do to help you, Lord Maxwell. You hear farmers, not fighters, after all. I see. Told you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. So my debt is paid. Thank you for everything. Yeah, thanks. It was fun. See you around. And just like that, he's gone. That's a mercenary for you, I suppose. Yeah. Lady Mila! Will you be departing again? Yes. Look after the village. But I would rather accompany you! I wouldn't dare leave your holy care in the hands of this blasphemous, uncouth, shifty, backstabbing stranger! Ivor, <laughs> tell me again of your duty. My duty? Why, it is to serve you, Lady Mila. And what of your other duty? Uh, to protect the people of Niakara. Those who can't protect themselves. Exactly. And now you see why Ju shall accompany me on this journey. While you fulfill your second duty. But Lady Mila, you wouldn't have lost the great spirits if not for him. No, the fault was mine and mine alone. Indeed, if Jude hadn't been there, I might never have returned safely to Nia Kara. Thanks. I'm only trying to help. 
But Lady Mila! The matter is not open to debate. Will you abandon your duty to this village? No. Then let's be off, Jude. I hope they haven't closed off the Sea Haven. So does that mean we'll be passing through Hamil again on the way? Hmm. Yes, that's not a bad idea. Really? Is that okay? It will give us a chance to check up on Rashigal's activity here in Ajul. If we're lucky, we might even find a way to sneak into Fenmont. Gotcha. We'll stop by Hamil then. Safe travels to you, Lord Maxwell. Thank you. Lady Mila, please return to us safely! <laughs> Only halfway boy, isn't he? Oh, poor guy. I wouldn't mind him coming with me. Probably a cool character. If I'm just funny as hell. Bye, people! Hello there! Are you looking to head out to the Mothman World Cup? Oh, I gotta say that! Oh. The Fall of Man will always be a dangerous place. Home to monsters that are far from Oh, me. sorry. Please proceed with great caution if you intend to journey through it. So we're not going that way, are we? No, then you said we're going right back to where we came yeah. from. Oh my god! Oh, that girl disappeared. Oh, look, shiny! I still say I love the way these houses look. Yeah. Well, it seems like people who are small as hell for their, uh, for their beds. They must be coiled up all the time. So what am I? So, that woman is supposed to be Maxwell? And you claim she has lost her powers, Pressa. Yes. If she's already hidden the key somewhere, we could have a problem. The fault is mine. I underestimated them. I apologize. If I'd only known that woman was Maxwell, I would have forced her to reveal the key's whereabouts. No matter. It is in our best interest to let her wander freely for now. Yes. Let her attract the attention of Rashigal while we quietly put all the pieces in place. Any word from Agria? She says they appear to have decided to construct a new key to replace the one they lost. We cannot ignore that. Oh my! Joe, you no longer need to watch over the girl. Join the search for the key. But, sir... If the Rashigal soldiers have withdrawn, you need not monitor her personally. It only makes sense for priorities to change. The data is safe, after all. As you say. Pressa, rendezvous with Agria and infiltrate Fenmont. Oh, so it's truly safe to leave Maxwell alone? Yes. We still have another pawn on the board. I'll have him search for the key as well. Why the guy, main guy's No, his outfit right there almost got Yuri. Oh my god, two sexy voice. Oh, too many sexy voice people. Hmm. What is it? I was mulling over our options. What if we can't take a boat straight to Fenmont? Well... I vote against taking the land route from Aljul. Crossing the mountains would be a real pain. Alvin? Alvin? We could head toward Sherilton from Sapstrath Sea Haven. We? What do you mean, we? That handmaid of yours offered me a little job. He wasn't so crazy about his exalted spirit traveling with a pipsqueak for a protector. Plus, the good village folk overpaid me. It'd be a stain on my professional pride if I didn't give them their money's worth. <laughs> Very well. Good to have you back. Yeah, thanks for coming along. Thank Ivor and the villagers, not me. So, what's the plan? First, we head to Hamil to investigate Rashigal's movements. If they're still there, that is. Then you better take this. Keep it handy, just in case. Shall we go? What is it? What you gave us? Tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. <laughs> Congratulations, you got a world map. Thank 
god! Oh, <laughs> While traveling the world, press R3 to open a world map. From there, you can instantly you return to locations you've already been to along your journey. New stories may await in old places. Of course, depending on where you are in the story, you may not always be able to visit certain places. Woo! Alright, Max. We're going back to the vision where we saw that girl, that little girl. I don't get it. How could the four great spirits get captured? Fundamentally, the four are masses of mana. The Lance of Kresnik absorbs mana and apparently is able to store it. I never thought that was even possible. Apparently it is. We have to go rescue the four then. I do like the pluck, but this might be a case where a bit of pluck will get you a lot of dead. A pissed off med student's probably not a tall order for the group that bagged the four great spirits. <laughs> hey, stop this in Jude. Oh. Wave, come forth. <laughs> Who's next? Right, all right. All right. All right. Okay, so we fast travel. The road this way leads to a rocky area. No echoes, no blah blah sea balls. <laughs> I have to meet too many people who are eager to brave their trial. Why is she still in there? Huh? You think she's in there since they call and love her? I wonder why they kept her locked up, though. Unless she knows something that we don't. Get out of here! This is all your fault, you evil brat! Do you have any idea what you people put us through? What we did? Is this Rashigal's doing? They couldn't find us, so they took it out on the village. Leave here at once! You outsiders are nothing but trouble! She was like a completely different person. Don't come back here. Let's see if the villagers know anything about Rashigal's activities. Don't forget, we'll be leaving soon. Gotcha. Thank you. Reza's shoulders came back again and did even more damage. My own child was seriously injured. Why did this have to happen? I'm not supposed to talk to Isar, so when I, I actually find any opera's treasure, that's just me talking to myself, okay? 
bunch of dicks they turn out to be. Well, I understand why they're angry, but... No matter how many times we shut that girl in there, she always finds a way out. I just don't get it. She's way too young to be channeling spirits, right? Don't, Don't try to be our friend. You'll just bring more trouble for yourself. I think the kid's like her. That poor girl's all alone. I feel so sorry for her. Yeah, God, adults. Adults are just bastards sometimes, aren't they? Oh, rock that little girl. Baby man. I can't talk to outsiders. Uh, mayor's orders. Wow. Say, dang, she looks like a completely different person. Uh, right. Yeah, she was. Yeah, I guess that was strange stuffed animal. Sorry, Fred. Afraid there's nothing like that in this village. Chief Drone drove off the risen soldiers for us, but now we have to wear what they'll come back for revenge. This is exactly why I said we don't want anything to do with any outsider business. They told me I should try to be friends with that girl, but I guess I just knew it would end up being trouble for me if I got involved. Oh, I got some pussies. We only did what Joel asked us to do. I don't know any more than that, and I don't want any. Don't want to know more than that. No. A word of advice for you young folks. The material- oh. That's a thousand do. Yeah. People are so wrong. Much. So, can we talk to the old lady? Your kind isn't welcome here! Scram? What happened to the down-home hospitality you showed us when we got here? <laughs> Worry not. We'll soon be on our way. But if you keep acting like that, we just might have to stay here longer. What do you want from me? I want to know what happened to Rashigal's forces. Have they left? <laughs> Chief Zhao drove them off. Chief Zhao? Let me guess. Big guy? Funky beard? Yes. Things could have gotten a lot worse if not for him. Hmm. So what happened to this Chief Zhao of yours? Don't ask me. We've been living a nightmare here ever since he brought that accursed girl with him. He should have taken her with him when he left. In any case, we're through with outsiders here. Outsiders, outsiders. Hey, there you are. Oh, it's the doll girl. She's really cute. What the We're finished here. We didn't learn anything useful. It's time to go. Wait, we need to talk. It's about the girl. Mm -hmm. well, the villagers do seem to treat her like a pariah. Until that big fellow Zhao returns, I don't see her situation improving. But Elise insists Zhao isn't her friend. He locks her up when he's around, and the villagers treat her horribly when he's away. Sounds like she's stuck between a jerk and a hard place. Unless we bring her with us. Bring her with us? And then what? Have you given this any thought? You do remember my mission. 
Yeah. <sighs> you did baby face. Very well. She can come. Really? Jude, do you remember what I told you at the falls? Huh? Be yourself and do what you have to do. That's what I said to you. Yeah, I remember. Those words still apply. Can I assume your decision to bring the girl is just another step in your path? That it will help you find the answer you seek? Y yes Then tell Elise she's coming. You got it. Yeah, get her, sir. You got her. Yay! That was nice of you. She won't affect my mission. If she slows me down or gets herself in trouble, I'll just leave her behind. My intent from the beginning was to do this alone after all. Oh, can't use her! No! <laughs>